Have you found a harder GCSE vectors question? If you have, head to my Lung Gang Reddit, post it there, maybe I'll do a video in it. In it. So here we got uh, a trapezium OXYZ, or in Murica, they would say trapezoid, isn't it? We've got O to X is A, uh, XY is B, OZ is 3B. M is the midpoint of OX, N is the point such that MNZ and ONY, MNZ, ONY, are straight lines, given that O to N, O to Y is K to 1, use the vector method to find the value of K. All right, so let's just label our diagram and read again. Okay, this is what we should be doing in the exam. You, for these hard questions, you should read it once, start annotating, read it again. So O to X is A. Now I know already that M is the midpoint. So instead of saying A, I'm gonna say this is a half A, and this is a half A. Okay, don't try and, you want to try and reduce the amount of mess on your diagram. X to Y is B. And O to Z is 3B. Both of these being multiples of B means that they are parallel. Okay. N, yeah, N is the point such that MNZ and ONY are straight lines. Given that this distance here, relative to this, is k to 1, find the value of k. Well, we know, we can see that o to n is smaller than o to y. Yeah, so this must be a fraction smaller than 1. Okay, maybe it's a third, yeah, based on the way I've drawn it. Maybe it's a bit more than a third. We have to work that out. Now, with all of these questions, we're always going to start off with this section, okay, this straight line business. Because what does that even mean that something is a straight line? It means if you take a point, yeah, we usually always pick the end points. If MNZ is a straight line, it means MN is a multiple of MZ. Or MN, if you times it by something, it will give you MZ. And that's what I'm gonna write down first, okay? So MN, yeah, MN. If I multiply it by something, now they've used k, um, should we use x? If I take mn and multiply it by x, it's going to give me mz. Okay? Now from there, that's literally going to form our whole working out. Yeah? Just this statement right here. I can work out what mz is straight away. To go from m to z, I'm going negative half a, I'm going against the arrow, negative half a plus 3b, okay? Or 3b minus a half a. So, x, m, n is, I'm going to write 3b and minus a half a. All right, you might be wondering why am I underlining my letters? Uh, you should be experienced enough to see a vector's question previously and know that they write the vectors in bold font. We can't do that, so we underline our letters. If you don't do that in the exam, it's not a big deal. Now, how do we go from M to N? This is an unknown vector, okay? We need to choose pathways that we can find to go from M to N. And to do that, I'm going to go M-O-O-N, okay? So, M-N, M-N is negative half A, plus wherever this is, okay? So it's negative half A plus wherever O to N is. I'm not going to write that bit anymore. Let's figure out O to N. Now, here we can use this to help us find what O to N is. Yeah, and it's going to be in terms of K. Right, this, yeah, is some fraction of O to Y, yeah? And it's saying it's K, all right? So that distance O to Y, yeah, if you times it by K, yeah, if we times that by K, we get the O to N, okay? So O to N is K lots of O to Y, all right? So we get X lots of minus a half A plus K lots of O to Y. Now, what is O to Y? Well, it's A plus B. That's a really nice, 
Nice one, Moy. Um, we could even start expanding here because we don't need the brackets. So expanding that in, I get minus a half x a plus k x. Yeah, k x. O to y, we literally just said was a plus b. Now we expand that out. So we have minus a half x a plus kx a plus kx b. Now we have to collect our like terms. All right, we're going to collect the a's and the b's. Okay, how do we do that? If I was to give you guys 5a minus 2a, you guys would immediately tell me 3a. Now, what you're, uh, if we were to be technical about this or view this in another way, you're reading the coefficients. You're literally saying, you're factorizing out the a and you're saying 5 minus 2. You're reading those coefficients, that gives you 3. All right, but what we're doing is we're just saying 5 take away 2 is 3, isn't it? So, when we collect the like terms, all we're doing is we're factorizing. All right, all we're doing is factorizing. Now, can you see over here, I wrote the 3b first. I'm going to write the b term here first. So we get k x b. Then here, we are going to factorize the a term. And just read the coefficients. I'm going to write the positive one first. k x minus a half x. Okay, cool. Now, this vector is this x m n, and that equals 3b minus half a. 3b minus half a. Okay? Now, if they're the exact same, we somehow need to figure out what k and x need to be in order for these to be the same. Okay? Well, you might think about this simultaneously. You might say, all right, so kx must equal 3, and this must equal minus a half. Okay? And you can do that. That's completely fine. All right? So kx is 3, because we, we didn't even say that there. Mn is a multiple of mz, yes. <laughs> yes. But, wait, what? Mz, mn is a multiple of mz, but with this x, we can now say that they're exactly the same. So we can say kx is 3. And this uh, horrible looking thing, kx minus a half x is minus a half. And from there, we can, I guess, double everything to make it much nicer. So timesing everything by 2. We get 2kx uh, minus, th this cancels, right? Minus x is minus 1. Okay. Now remember, we're not even interested in x. Yeah, we're trying to work out k. So we have these two equations. We somehow need to eliminate x. Now, what I notice here is that x is in two places. I can factorize that out. So I can say x lots of 2k minus 1 is minus 1. And I have kx. I'm just going to write the x first. xk is 3. Okay. Now, how do we get rid of the x's? Remember, this is multiplication. We're doing simultaneous equations, right? So this is multiplication. To get rid of them, we're going to divide. Okay. Now, observing this, it would actually be much nicer if I divide it the other way around. So, if I put the xk on top, it would just remove fractions, essentially. So, I have xk, xk is 3. Uh, apologies for the, the cramping of things. So, the x's cancel. We get k divided by this. k divided by 2k minus 1 is 3 divided by minus 1, which is minus 3. Okay, cool. So now we've got an equation in k, and we just need to solve. So this says divide by 2k minus 1. We're going to multiply through by that, so it becomes 2k minus 1 over here. And then we just need to expand that. All right, so we get minus 6 uh, plus 3. So we get k is minus 6k plus 3. Bring the 6k over by adding it. We get 7k is 3. Then we divide by 7 on both sides. K is three sevenths. And that is our final answer for six marks. All of this working stemming from our first statement, which just originated from here. So obviously, if you just skipped right to the end, this is going to look crazy. But 
by just understanding this point, the working just, you know, works itself out, yeah, from the <laughs> diagram. Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. It helps me out a lot and you guys as well. So YouTube recommends more of these videos to you. Uh, to you. Subscribe for more content. And if you're interested in my GCSE courses, there are links in the description. See you guys in the next video. Nice.